are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Praise God, that's a wonderful hymn to look up and hear someone sing it, hear every verse of it, because we're to be walking daily by the Savior's side. You know, I just had to come out and sing that song because <laughs> if you saw my last video, we were getting snow, but it wasn't sticking. Well, now it's sticking, and uh, that's not something we get all the time here, so very beautiful. Reminds me of when I was a child. I get so excited if we'd have a snow big enough to pull a sled around or something. It was very exciting and eventful then. Find something to have a pond freeze where you could skate on a little edge of it. Well, there's a lot going on in our world. I know I say that a lot, but my, my. If everybody's not paying attention yet, I, I don't know what it takes. I'm sure the Lord is shaking his head and saying, what will it take? How much affliction will some have to receive to turn their hearts to me? You know, if, if something really big came to one of our nations, and it is coming to many nations, isn't it? And, uh, what are we going to blame God because we turned our back on him? We're going to blame God because he won't cover us while we're serving idols. You know, it's time to serve the true and living God. This earth is his. He made that tree we're looking at and he made that snow that's falling out of the sky. It's all his. And we are all his. We we did not create ourselves. He lets us procreate. He put a man and woman together as husband and wife, and they could procreate children. But the Lord is the breath of life in every living soul. In him we live and move and have our being, and we've just got to see that. We've got to understand it. Because if we don't change our ways, if we don't acknowledge God, and we're in the times that biblically say, this is it, these are end time things happening, where will we be when the Lord brings judgment? He is bringing judgment in the earth, things that are happening, all the calamities. It's not the wrath of God yet. But it's judgments. It's that merciful judgment time where, see, this is just about it. You should turn. I want you to turn. I want you to be saved. You know, the Lord is long-suffering because he is not willing that any perish. And I know his heart grieves for how many times he's visited some of us and we still haven't turned. I am so thankful that he got hold of my heart. My goodness, I was so lost. And sometimes when we're so lost, we don't even know we are. You know, it's like the <laughs> proverbial man here that won't admit he's lost when he gets lost out there in the car. It's like a, uh, a prideful thing. We don't admit we're lost. We could always know where we are and find our way home. But, you know, without Jesus, we can't do that. There's no getting home to the Lord in heaven without Jesus. He is the guide, and we've got to be guided by him every day. You know, the Lord's put it in my heart over and over. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Because we're not going to understand everything that's going on and how things are happening sometimes. And if we're leaning on our own understanding and we're trying to figure it out ourselves, we're going to have doubt. We're going to lose faith. 
But you know, the Bible says without faith it is impossible to please him. We have got to trust that he has the best outcome for all of us. He knows what he is doing, and his timing is perfect. Praise God. I love the Lord so much. I'm enjoying this snow, and I'm just sort of rambling. I don't have any big word for you other than you better turn now. If you've been putting it off and saying, well, someday I'll live for the Lord. Uh, you've reached someday. If you're going to do it, you better do it now because today is the day of salvation. Too many things happening in the world. Too many calamities. Lives are being taken. It's becoming a little more dangerous every day in the world. And uh, we just don't know what's going to be in someone's heart. The Lord doesn't want harm to come to any of us, but he's given free will. And there's some people that their will's not aligned with God and doing good to people. They've signed up with Satan. And uh, some of them don't even know how controlled they are, but they opened that door to Satan at some point. They wouldn't call on the Lord, so he rules his life. You know, Jesus said, if you're not for me, you're against me. Don't deceive yourself. Don't think you can uh, sit on the fence and you'll be okay. Because when you get to heaven and there's judgment, Jesus will say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You're not going to be a lukewarm person up there getting in heaven. You're not going to be a sinful person getting in heaven. You're going to be clean before the Lord, and you're going to have total faith in the Lord, and you're going to truly love the Lord if you're going to heaven. And you know, taste and see that the Lord is good. Some people just don't want boundaries. Most of us with our human nature don't want boundaries. We don't want to feel like, oh, God's going to tell us what to do, and we don't get to do anything we want, and on and on and on. You know, all of his word is protective boundaries. Like for children that you love, you have protective boundaries. But as parents, and he calls us evil, we're like evil parents that do good for our children. How much more will he, this perfect, spiritual, loving father, do for those that love him? He's got good plans for us, not evil plans. Don't get him confused with the evil one. And he's not the author of this confusion that's down here in this earth. That comes from the evil one. Satan came to steal, kill, and destroy. And Jesus came to bring life and that more abundantly. Praise God. You know, I love the Lord. He rescued me. And I am ever grateful for his mercy and grace in my life. And I have experienced his favor. And I'm the most unworthy person ever. It's not about our goodness or our righteousness. The word of God says our righteousness is as filthy rags. We cannot do enough to make it to heaven on what we do. We make it to heaven on having faith in Jesus Christ. And yes, we go about doing good once we start serving the Lord. He tells us to continue in well-doing. So, before where you had a selfish heart, where you were stubborn, now you're, you're giving your will over to the Lord, and you should be having a giving heart, a loving heart, and it should be a natural thing to want to do for others. As the Lord, his two commandments are to love the Lord with all of our heart and to love one another. And he said, you'll know his disciples by the love they have for one another. So if we're spewing something hateful at a brother or sister, we're not reflecting that we are a disciple of Jesus Christ. We need to be very, very careful and make sure our hearts are clean. I'm just telling you I love you. Whoever you are out there, if you stop by and you need the Lord, I love you. Jesus loves you more. He does not want you to perish. 
there is a heaven and there is a hell and none of us wants to go to hell he sent plenty of warnings he warned in the word of God about hell and he gives a beautiful description of heaven in the word of God but in these last days he has sent people he has spoken to people and shown them things to give us extra warning there is a heaven and there is a hell he has shown how terrible heaven how terrible hell is excuse me to people and they have spent their time since that revelation warning people because it became very real to them when they saw how terrible it was and they care about our souls and they warned and warned and are still warning well the word of god is plenty of warning for us what the lord wants us to get out of the good news though is that jesus came to save us from our sins he took that sin on him god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life you know maybe you're someone that thinks i don't care about everlasting life i just want my life to be over you want your life to be over because down here we have misery and grief and sorrow but in heaven that's not what you're going to have you do want eternal life in heaven because there's no more sorrow or tears there there's no more pain there's no more loss you're with the lord and people are just enjoying the joy of the lord the joy and peace and righteousness where you don't have to worry about all this evil around you and who's going to knock you in the head next and all of that wouldn't that be a wonderful place to be i think so i choose peace and i choose jesus and I choose joy forevermore. The Lord woke me one morning saying that to me. Joy forevermore. You know, he's given little words to his servants to encourage them because we're going through heavy trials. We have uh, pressure on us just like the world has pressure on it. But we have Jesus in that plot with us. Just like he was with the Hebrew children going in that fiery furnace. It didn't touch them because Jesus was with them. Do you understand? If you have Jesus with you, you can go through and make it through whatever comes. Well, we got a dog barking and little birds hopping around. Kind of threw them out some food while ago. I found a bag of nut and fruit mix that was slightly out of date. I thought, well, let's give that to you. And they are enjoying it old piece of bread thrown down there they're enjoying that well enjoying the birds enjoying the snow enjoying the lord jesus christ he is good the father in heaven is a good good father he's great and greatly to be praised let's get clean before the lord his coming is soon his coming is soon we want to be right with the Lord. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed. Obey Acts 2.38 if you need to give your heart to the Lord. Don't think about it anymore. Just have faith. Take that leap of faith. Call on the Lord Jesus Christ. Get your mind made up. Save your souls. Be blessed.